Hey guys, we're over here at a rent house that we've been owning for a while and we decided to put it on the market for sale. We're jumping into a lot of the sober living houses and so homes like this no longer fit the mold of what we're trying to achieve and we can get a really good price. So we're going to show you kind of just a quick rundown of what we're doing in this house. And today we got kind of a, a, a busy day. We're going to look at another house that we're going to flip. So first we'll start off in the living room and I'm not going to give a full tour of the house, but just to kind of show you sometimes we don't have to clean up a big mess. And so this was a big win for us because it doesn't cost a lot of money to turn us around. Had a renter in here for four or five years paying well. They decided to move out. I took the opportunity to say, hey, let's clean this up and go put it on the market. But really what you're seeing is you see paint items and stuff of that nature. But man, we just have to hit the, the walls and the trim a little bit and, and the door. This is really not an expensive rehab. You could see that the house for our area is, is, is a great looking house. It's 1,700 square feet and has four bedrooms. So it's really ideal. We got a nice kitchen area, nice dining room area right here. It goes all the way down to the utility room. So it can house a family of five like mine, a family of six for, uh, uh, for sure, and got great, great lawn space. And so um, as we continue to go down the road of figuring out, hey, what's the ideal, uh, ideal real estate to own, um, these type of houses, after they reach about 10 to 15 years old and you have to start replacing ACs and roofs of that nature, um, since I've owned it, since I have been owning it since it was brand new, um, I want to not pay for those expensive repairs. So now is the ideal time to sell and kind of to give you a breakdown of numbers. When I originally bought this property, I bought it for, I think about 170,000 or when we built it and did all that. So I was in it for about 170, which um, at the time, was really kind of top of the line. Um, and, and there was a unique way that I purchased this house. So um, I'll kind of explain that to you here in a minute, but now we're gonna put it on the market for 205, maybe even 210. And so there wasn't a bunch of equity when I purchased the house, but the original, I built the house, we got paid to build the house and an investor came and bought it. And then they said, after about a year, I no longer want it. I will sell it to you and I'm gonna turn around and finance it to you with some favorable terms. And so the terms allowed me to rent the place out and make a cash flow profit each month while paying down the debt. So since that time, four or five years ago, we paid down the debt a lot because I went go to the bank and get a note and all this kind of stuff eventually. And so we were hitting the principal pretty hard. Um, where now we'll be able to capitalize on the appreciation of this thing of the 30, 40,000 bucks and uh, make a little bit of money. So not all properties we deal with is trashed up. This one is in really good shape thanks to the tenants. And so we're gonna sell this house and move on to the next one. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Now we're at this house, like we were just telling you over there in our house in Blue Bridge, this is in Parks. This is the latest flip that we're about to purchase in the next week or so. And so why don't you come on down, we'll check it out. So now we're inside the house. When you walk in, there's a foyer, very big foyer. And I like it because of the separation, but we're gonna walk right here. The first door to the left is the master bedroom. This is in the country. This is a, this is a country township, not even a city. So everybody over here knows everybody and, and, and a master bedroom in the front is not terrible in these situations. You got a big uh, master bedroom and um, it's going to be a little bit hard to see in there because the lights are off when you're buying a bank repo house, they don't turn on any utilities, but you can see my personal opinion, this is not terrible. You got some sheetrock to do, you got a lot of sheetrock and painting and cleaning but everything else is looking like it works uh, 
or looking that it's nicely uh, uh, still in shape. And if you want to pan up real quick to this ceiling fan for the example, like that's a good ceiling fan. You really don't need to change it out. We've got a good size master closet right in here. This house is 1800 square foot, three bed, two bath. And uh, you know, it just needs somebody to care for it. So in the living room area, so we have the living room all on this side, good size living room. We have the kitchen, which connects to the living room, big open. And so I'm trying to get away with not doing any granite countertops, but as I look at it more, it may be the only thing to do to clean this up. But the cabinets are, they're, 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 they're beat up, but they're not worn out. And so we're gonna just reconnect the things, put some new cabinet hardware on there. It's really gonna look fantastic. Down here, you got a utility room, you got a garage. Um, we got the outside right here, which, uh, comes on a big piece of land. So this is another good thing about being in the country is that you have a lot of space all right here to put a fence and it's not a square or a rectangle. It's a little funky, but you do have a big triangle and you got plenty of room to add in whatever you want back here. So neighbors are super nice. Everybody keeps up their stuff. It looks like this was probably the only house that was not being well kept up. Lastly, you got these two bedrooms and the bath and split floor plan where you got the master on the left side, the other bedrooms on the right and kind of met in the middle with the kitchen and the uh, living room. And so this is a ideal floor plan with people like me who have kids to say, hey, go on the other side. And that way you ain't really bugging us in the middle of the night, but we all know that kids do. So we're gonna show you around inside these rooms real quick. All right, so that'll do it in this house. You're gonna see it through the few phases that we go through, but we're hoping that we can get in and out of this thing in 30 days and then put it on the market 30 days later sell. So 60 day turnaround is, is ideal. And, um, and so that's what we're shooting for. We're gonna explain that to you here as, as we continue to go and break down the numbers whenever we uh, get everything finalized. So if you like what you see, keep on coming back, like and subscribe so you can get the notifications from us and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.